want the mustard. That's right. Spice. There he is. The jury that we know and love. Right into the ranks. I think a couple weeks ago they were just diamonds. Now they're super diamonds. So shout outs to that. He might be floating between the two ranks because I think I remember him being a super diamond. Maybe it happened. Like a few weeks ago. Now oh, the answer's gone. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. You uh, motherfuckers. Oh, am I allowed to curse on the tree? You are. I knew the answer. <laughs> there we go. My room is getting warm. It's 25 degrees in here. Celsius. Where are your freedom units? You live in America. My freedom units? No. Freedom units are very inaccurate. Uh, what? They're it's just like a little mid, arbitrary. Mid 70s, I think, is how it converts. I don't know. Uh, 25? 25 to 77 degrees. So around yeah, 70, mid 70s. I knew it was close. All I know is that 20 is 60, was it 68? And then 15 is 15. Uh, 20. I don't remember the conversions, but you are right. I remember the conversion, but also doing a lot of the, the engineering stuff that I do. Like, standard, the two standard temperatures are 15C and 21C, so I just know those numbers because I've read them so many times. That's fair. Uh, Kinda like, see, I, yeah. see, I read the numbers on my thermostat and I just accept them for what they are. I'm like, oh, 25 degrees? That's getting warm. Especially when I'm drinking, and that makes me feel even more warm. Can I have to shut my door too? I'm sweating my balls off. Yeah, you're in like Carolina. It's terrible down there. I'm in the nice Bay Area. It's always like 70 some odd degrees here. It's great. It's been pretty hot recently. That's okay. I accept it. It's better than snow. Yo, but what is looking really hot right now is Fighter Dijon in this matchup against the answer. I know, right? I didn't even oh. realize that he's done all that so far. And the blocks? Take yeah, but look at Crux and has the whole just finally cracking under the pressure EXCP. That's gonna get us pretty close to tying it up. What? Side? Yo, he only stayed same side because he backed. That was sick. He's in trouble. Yeah, and it's toss for his troubles. All that hard work put in earlier, but one really good V trigger activation from D'Angelo there, taking the round all the way back. Things slowing down here back to the pace that uh, Dijon wants. But the answer is starting to get aggressive here. Notice that Fighter Dijon cracks under the pressure, wants to apply it early. Small on that, uh, whatever you call it, let me kick you. Uh, yeah, if you don't have Charge Ford as, as Fang, there's, uh, there's not much you can do. So he just takes it with a little pressure he can. Uh, not, not enough for this to of the throw, but it's one more hit, and the Coward's Crash going to put him in the corner. doesn't matter. It's going to kill. I sound like somebody else? Yeah, sure I do. Magus I mean, like Magis, Magis is Sage and Bath. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we both look like a little nasally. Just uh, like a little bit. I'll let you know, when I do commentary, I get more nasally than than usual because I've watched a lot of Sage. <laughs> and I'm I'm very bad like I'm very bad at picking up other people's accents in the sense where I just start talking to them. <laughs> like I, I developed like the I developed their like persona and like I I take on their skin. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see that. I do something very similar when I like yeah. whenever somebody else does an accent, like all of my characters turn into that accent. Dude, it's the same thing. <laughs> uh as we were talking about that, the answer just like wiped the floor there. A nice 30 second round to where I feel like that's like a nice round average. So you end at 69 seconds. Nice. Nice. Um, 
Looks like Yancer has done a very good job of summoning how Fire Dijon wants to play the game. Does the classic good player has a close first round and then just starts dunking on him? Yeah, and that's pretty typical as you're starting to get a feel out for people. And, I mean, it's not uncommon to see, like, the first rounds to go by the wayside, but he activated V-Trigger in that first round and was able to figure out Fighter Dijon's defensive habits and really take advantage of it. Uh, but so far in this round, Dijon has done an excellent job of poking and keeping uh, the answer out, but finally locked down here in the corner. What side? Good block, and he's escaped the corner here. Try to catch him air to air. Too high up. Oh, that poison yeah. damage backing now got caught low to activation. Good block, other side gets to make himself, takes the throw to answer. Twice the back dash? What was it? Just go into the super. Did it mean? Oh my goodness. Bold move to not go into the super, finds his opportunity anyway. Good job, Dijon here, staying alive, looking like the Bee Gees. But what more does he have in the take here? Can he go the distance? Mm -hmm. Dancing. Willing to block that jump and gets him with another sleep. See if he's able to keep up this good stuff, but nope, Dijon just goes in there, clip, and the answer gets a throw. More fro more jumps, more throws. The answer had a, a massive life deficit right now. And stuns going clips again. Not enough, but tops him out of the slide. Fighter Dijon's gonna be able to pull it back here from the brink of going out of the tournament to tying it up one to one. What a nice little two two round set there, and he really did a good job of switching up the pace in that third round. So you saw in round two, he played it really slow, really patient, you know, really trying to run away from the answer the entire match or the entire round. But in this round, he really took the fight to the answer here, which kind of threw off the answer's plan. He got caught off for a lot. Threw off his neutral hand and threw, threw off his defensive right. options. It was a straight up fighter deal going, you know what? Fuck you, I'm just going to kick your ass. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of one of the things that is really good to good to do if you know that the the opposing player is like better than you overall playing a more unorthodox style where you're you know you're dashing in and out you're going back and forth or and then all of a sudden you just switch gears it, it's still really hard for any player to adapt to that kind of switch so it's really good for kind of keeping your opponent on their toes and making sure that you know they're paying attention and not just flow charting you with that Sweet barely connecting, does it again because he had activation on deck and he gets it. Not oh, much afterwards though, Fighter Dijon poking out with the medium. Okay, another good trade for Fighter Dijon is the answer. You gotta watch out. Dijon's got that B skill charged up. Ready to punch the fireball. Dance zone, super uh, intent to slow the poison to his work. Oh, oh no! no. Yeah, had to travel the full screen and it took a little bit longer to get there. I Yo, love that to I the love setup that and get away. Yo, I wish that he would have thrown the fireball to get the OG pressure afterwards, but just resetting to neutral, 20 seconds left on the clock. He just needs to avoid getting chipped out. Catches him? He just catches him trying to bait him. He just does it. Yeah, like so so the answer threw like did a throw to bait out the the V skill and then he went for the V skill and just got caught. And, like and good fighter Dijon on match point. Big jump in there. It's going to do a lot of pressure oh, and damage with that block DP. Yeah, trapped in the corner now. Dijon spins one beer versus block, but keeps pushing afterwards. That stand medium kick, godsend for Jury. Yeah, good trade on the fireball. Trading Look on the buck. Look at that medium kick. All right, EX flip kick into activation. Oh, one Dijon throw. Do catch oh, the creep on the other side. Yo, one more touch for him, but activation from the answer not gonna be enough to kill, but what can he get oh, off of it? Lip kick got no. jumped! Early! Early. And the answer takes it to final, final round here, not ready to go out of the tournament. Not out of the tournament, excuse me, down to the loser's bracket. Round two would be pretty early for a grandmaster to fall. It happens. Oh, but look at the pressure that he's putting on the now. And we talked about how Dijon switched up the pace, but now the answer's doing the same thing, right? He's, he's changing the pace of the match, but Grass Dijon adapting right back. Great air to air. Dijon's at least out of the corner. Yeah, I feel like that was his most important thing. He wanted to build his base here, but the answer's not giving it to him. That fireball's gonna hit because he's in V trigger. Good air to air, he's got the pressure now. Gets the throw. What's it gonna be? Back off, back in there. The answer could oh. run away. 
Oh no, Dijon! He hits Cliff a couple too many times and the answer clutches it out in final, final round. That was high. That was... That, that was, was so... Good. That was so intense. It was so good. I'm glad that we waited to see that because I was really close to telling them both F off and uh, to go on to round three. Yeah, but now you get your pick of the litter for round three matches. All right. We got Blarlad versus uh, Mata. We got Gek versus Yaz. Mata versus the Tiggy. All right, I'm adding them in Discord. Big Pump Pump versus the Tiggy. Yeah, that's right, Tiggy. Get in here. I want to see you lose. It was not. I wasn't watching. 